Brian Government, order of the day number three. Social assistance portability to Cook Islands, Noe and Tokelau Bill interrupted debate on second reading. Members, when we were last uh, debating the second reading, Carmel Cipollone was speaking and has just under 10 minutes remaining. Carmel Cipollone. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, kia ora nā whakalofa lahi atu and tā aloha ni. Um, it's a privilege to speak to this bill, the Social Assistance Portability to Cook Islands New and Tukalau Bill. And Mr Speaker, out of respect to our Pacific brothers and sisters that this bill responds to, I greeted this House in those three languages. Mr Speaker, I want to start by contextualising this bill. Many New Zealanders are actually unaware of the unique relationship that New Zealand has with um, our Cook Islands, Niue and Tukalau um, nations. Those three island nations have a constitutional relationship with New Zealand that I'm sure we're aware of, but many people outside of this house have no knowledge of. They are technically part of the realm of New Zealand. As such, they have free association with New Zealand and as New Zealand citizens by right. They can move freely between their island homes and ours. Mr Speaker, as such, we have a responsibility to make sure that as a parliament we exercise the same duty of care to them as we do to New Zealand-based citizens. Mr Speaker, it is appropriate to recognise the service of men and women to this country, men of their countries, to our country, particularly in light of the recent Anzac Day commemorations. Our Pacific Realm brothers and sisters fought alongside New Zealanders during World War I and World War II, many of them under our flag, the New Zealand flag. The contributions they have made to this country, whether it is to our economy, our sports fields, our workforce, academia, the arts, or through fighting for this country, are unquestionable. Labour, and I think this whole parliament, value the unique relationship we have with these countries and will do what is required to honour this relationship. In brief, Mr Speaker, this bill will give effect to the government policy on portability of New Zealand superannuation and the veterans' pension to the Cook Islands, Niue and Tukulau. This is an omnibus bill which seeks to amend the New Zealand Superannuation and Retirement Income Act 2001, the Veterans Support Act 2014 and the Social Security Act 1964. The aim of this bill is to allow eligible people who live in the Cook Islands, Niue or Tukalau to be able to apply from either of those countries for New Zealand superannuation or a veteran's pension and be paid those benefits in those countries or in other specified Pacific countries. On August 2013, the Honourable Murray McCulley, Minister of Foreign Affairs, announced changes to the special portability arrangement, which would allow eligible residents to apply for their pension or veterans' pension from the Cook Islands, Niue or Tukalau. Under the current rules, people wishing to retire to the Cook Islands, Niue or Tukalau have to be resident and present in New Zealand at age 65. Residents of those countries and that territory would still need to qualify for New Zealand super. They must have been resident and present in New Zealand for more than 10 years since the age of 20, including five years since the age of 50. This means that people who are entitled to New Zealand super, regardless of whether they are Cook Island, Niue or Tukalau ethnicity, would be able to depart New Zealand to live in one of these three countries after the age of 55 and apply without returning to New Zealand for their super once they turn 65. Currently, they would have to stay in New Zealand until turning 65 in order to qualify. The new policy would require legislation to be passed in New Zealand Parliament and was expected to apply from the 1st of July 2015. Mr Speaker, we support this bill and believe it is a, right, a step in the right direction towards equal treatment of New Zealand citizens throughout the realm. However, we take on board some concerns that were raised by submitters about the eligibility criteria. And Mr Speaker, um, my colleague, Portal William, actually raised this issue in a minority report. Um, and it was the fact that she was alluding to an SOP she was going to write which seeks to remove the requirement to be resident and present in New Zealand for five years between the ages of 15 and the qualification age of 65. The purpose of that, Mr Speaker, was to ensure residents of the islands of the realm would not be disadvantaged by being forced to absence them, absent themselves from family and work commitments in order to receive New, New Zealand superannuation. 
New Zealand citizens, including those with the realm, within the realm of New Zealand, should be treated equitably. And Porto's idea that she discussed in that minority report um, would mean that we more closely align the criteria for all applicants living in New Zealand and the countries of the realm. Mr Speaker, I do want to say that um, despite the fact Porto went to great lengths to, um, to, to write a minority report that reflected um, her concern and also alluded to the fact she would be writing this SOP. Um, one of our colleagues from New Zealand First then decided to go and write the SOP. So, um, Mr. Colley, uh, Mr Speaker, we're not petty. We will still support that SOP, but I do want to acknowledge my Cook Island colleague, Porto Williams, um, for the work that she's done on the Select Committee, um, for the attention she paid to the submitters, and for the fact that she has been pushing that we actually take this point into consideration and I hope that the government takes it seriously, including the chair of our board, who is our other Cook Island um, colleague in the House, uh, Mr Alfred Ngaro. Uh, Mr Speaker, I do want to share an experience I had um, a few years back when I was part of a group that travelled to five, four Pacific Islands as part of New Zealand's inquiry into our relations relationship with the Pacific. And one thing that came up time and time again when we were in the Cook Islands and when we went to Niue, unfortunately we didn't get an opportunity to go to Tukalau, but when we were in the Cook Islands and in Niue was the fact that the biggest problem they are facing is depopulation. And they talked about the fact that they lost their biggest resource or have lost their biggest resource and continue to lose their biggest resource to New Zealand. And that resource, of course, are their people. Um, Mr Speaker, sometimes I think we take for granted that we have people coming here, living here, contributing to our economy, and I want to acknowledge um, the, our three realm countries for the contribution that their people, their biggest resource, has made to this country. Um, Mr Speaker, I think one way in which we can honour that relationship is to ensure, yes, that we all support this bill in the House, but also that we take into consideration the SOP that's been put up by New Zealand First, proposed by my colleague, Portal Williams. Um, Mr Speaker, um, this is a bill that we think will be supported across the House, and we don't think there um, are very many party politics with this, except for perhaps a little bit of debate over who may have come up with the idea of an SOP. Um, and it is really about doing what is right, Mr Speaker. I hope that the um, government will seriously consider supporting the SOP that I've spoken about, because it is the right thing to do. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think moving forward, this is just one way in which we can honour the relationship that we have with the three realm countries. And I'm sure that there will be other ways in which we can do that, other opportunities that will present themselves to us as a parliament to honour that relationship. Um, Mr Speaker, I think that it's important, um, first and foremost, to just continually raise awareness with general members of the public um, that we do have this special relationship. Um, any measures that we put into place to honour that relationship um, are unique to our relationship with those countries and may not necessarily apply to other countries. It's just part and parcel of the fact that they happen to be part of the realm of New Zealand. Mr Speaker, um, we support this bill and we ask all of the other political parties in the House to support the SOP that has been put up by New Zealand First, but of course proposed by my Cook Island colleague, Portal Williams. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Alfred Narrow.